Okay, everyone. Um, hope everybody had a great weekend. I'm glad everybody's back. Uh, I would like to show you today what we're going to be doing. Hopefully, we'll be doing this a lot more uh, frequently. And um, really worked hard on this, so I hope you can see that. But um, what I'd like to show you is how we're going to be reading today's chapter, chapter four. It's a short chapter, um, but I'd like to show you what I've added to it, the iBooks, to help you out with that. So if you go to your iPads and you'll click on iBooks, um, what you can see here is you can see I've loaded on the text for you, but I've loaded two different things on. On the Scarlet Letter Chapter 4, you can click up at the top if you have headphones. If you don't have headphones, please don't do this, but if you have headphones, you may be able to uh, click on where it says audio version right here. If you click on the audio version, it will give you the option of opening it in another link. Do that and it will open up your web browser to Dropbox. Uh, if you, again, if you have headphones, you can click at the top where it says download and go to direct download. It'll take a second because it's about 15 minutes long, but it will open up a web browser so that you can uh, listen to the audiobook version of the story right there. There will be your audiobook version. Now, if you're choosing to do that, again, make sure you use headphones. After her return to the prison, Make sure you use headphones and then go back and read along with it. Um, it will follow the original text. What I have also added on here is I've added on every paragraph I translated into modern text. So as you're, if you choose to not use the audiobook, audiobook version, you can choose to read the red sections. As we change the page here. There we go. Now if you notice there's red sections. All the red sections are my uh, versions or translated versions of the text into easier to understand English. So if you choose to, you can just read the red sections and that will give you a better understanding of the story in our own modern language. Um, as you're reading, if you choose to do the black uh, or the red, it, it doesn't really matter to me. The black would be great to go along with the audio. Uh, the red is a little bit more helpful for you to understand. Again, if, as you noticed before, uh, there are a few places where you can click on hyperlinks. Make sure you're doing that. And then as you're reading, there are also green sections. If you can see... Here, there's a green section over there on the left. Um, those are questions. What I'd like you to do as you're reading, once you hit a green section, read the questions, and then go back, four finger swipe, to your Evernote. I should have that open still from your bell work. Click on New Note down at the bottom, and it should open up a new note. Here, I would like you to type in the answers for those questions. I put about 10 for the day, so keep those open, answer them, and then close out, and then that will be kind of your understanding comprehension part of the reading today. Um, again, red section is modern, black section is the old English. Um, hopefully that will help you understand. Uh, again, there are hyperlinks, and then at the end, I have a little activity. Again, that is in green. Make sure you follow that, and then click on the link to be able to watch the video on how to make a character sketch.